What is up, Cowboys Nation? Good morning if you're watching it. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Hopefully you guys are getting this day started. Started right. Absolutely. Uh, after uh, just tough weekend for your boy, Mike Tag. Very tough weekend with McCain's and then with the Cowboys. I went ahead and I said, you know what? I got to take the day off today. So I'm just chilling, chilling at the crib. Maybe go out for a little boat ride today. Weather's supposed to be really nice. So, you know what, man? Just got to keep moving forward. But again, all you new subscribers or people checking out the show for the first time, appreciate all the love. Hit that subscribe. Hit the like. Definitely share with Cowboys Nation because we need each other right now. This is some hard, hard times. You know, Mama said there'd be days like this, but I didn't know if they'd be continuing on week after week and i saw a crazy stat yesterday they said the last time the cowboys got a touchdown at home was september 22nd that was the last time your boy was at at t uh, and that was against the ravens so i it just absolutely mind-boggling you know i understand losing and i understand the injuries i understand the adversity they have but what you saw on sunday from the offense from that side's embarrassing and, you know, that's got to fall from the top down, coaching, ownership, everything. Because if, if Cooper Rush is your backup and you've got no confidence that he can complete a pass more than three yards, then what the hell are you doing? I mean, this guy's a veteran. He's been in the league a long time. Um, you know, we hear all, everything from Jerry saying the offense shouldn't skip a beat and he'll be fine and whatever else he had to say. Um but that was pathetic, and it's really a shame because the defense played their heart out. You know, you're talking, what, well, we have five turnovers. The defense played tough. They were put in bad situations, and you saw a star in, in Overshone. I mean, he's, he's been the one constant on that defense. Then you get Parsons back. He gets a couple sacks, so both of them get two sacks. Diggs gets a pick. I mean, Barkley was not running <clears throat> all over the Cowboys. The defense was actually playing their ass off, and the offense did them zero, zero favors. And um, it's just frustrating that that's the product that you're going to put on the field and offense. And, you know, Mike McCarthy, his offensive coordinator, you got you got to you got to take the blame, my man. And, you know, I feel bad for you. I think you've been dealt a very bad hand, but. If you're going to go down, man, let's just, you know, go down fighting. Go down with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a little bit of care, man. It just seemed like they didn't even care. It was like they were going through the motions. And I felt bad for the fans that had to sit in that stance and endure it. I'll be there next week and uh, primarily going for the Tyson fight, but we're going to the Monday night game. And it's going to be I, – I'm trying to think of a Cowboy game I sat through that was just – that bad and i don't know I, I don't i don't think i've ever sat through a, a game like i saw on sunday especially being there so i you know i felt for the fans and i don't this is not going to get fixed i don't think there's much hope obviously there's no hope for this season it's just a matter of finding out who the hell wants to play and it's like i said man it just try i mean you saw the browns or you've seen the colts and you've seen these other teams you know, they, they lose their, their starting quarterback. They play their backup, and at least they're competitive. At least, all right, you're going to lose 34 to 25, 24, 28, something like that. At least it's competitive. The Cowboys are just not even competitive on offense. And what's going to happen is the defense is just going to finally be like, yeah, we might as well just roll over too. Because the defense, like I said, man, they were, they were playing well for being undermanned again but at least getting Parsons back. You see the difference Parsons makes. I know a lot of you guys say get rid of Parsons, but uh, careful what you wish for. You know, it's just like the Dak haters, but careful what you wish for. And Dak wasn't playing good football uh, this year anyway. So I don't think I don't think the season it would have much mattered. Um, but you don't know. I mean, you don't know. To me, again, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but it always starts with a running game on offense. And, and I think that's where it's – Jerry's going to have to hear it all year, and he's going to look in the mirror, and he's either going to be too stubborn to do anything about it, or they'll finally realize, hey, we need to get a running game. You need to have some legit running backs, and they you need young legs in here that can get going. So, you know, 
it's going to be a tough, what do we got, eight weeks left? What are they, three and three and six now? Are they three and six, or is that three and seven? Three and six. Three and six, that's nine, eight. Eight more weeks of misery from a Cowboy fans and a Cowboys family. But, you know, hey, you hang in the cave, we'll get you through it. Like I said, if you guys have never seen the show before, never seen the live shows, never seen the interviews, you can go back and relive some glory days, man. You got We got interviews with Super Bowl champions. We got interviews with some Cowboy legends. You know, the, the Hall of Famers, some of the greatest of all time, came in the cave and shared their stories. And it'll remind you what the Cowboys franchise was. And I don't know if they're going to get back to where they were because it's got to be a culture change. It's got to be a mind change. It's got to be everything. And it starts from the top. And... You know, Jerry Jones, I remember when he bought the team, it was, you know, winning is the only thing. Winning's what we will do. Winning's this, winning's that. I don't think that's really his mindset anymore. I know a lot of people have said that, but it's kind of become evident and evident over the years as you kind of see, you know, his comments. And, and to me, actions speak louder than words. So comments aside, he's going to be funny. He's going to be trying to do a little, little one-liner here and there to try and ease some of the, you know, the stress and some of the uneasiness with the Cowboy fans. But it's actions. You know, the actions aren't there. I mean, you look at their their lack of activity in free agency. You even had Mike McCarthy kind of throw them under the bus a little bit, talking about their lack of activity of getting veterans in early, getting them part of the program, getting them – you know, the roster turns over at, what, 20 25% a year. Um, you've got so many new people, and you've got to bring some veteran guys that can can bring cohesiveness to the to the young guys and build that bridge. And they just uh, – their philosophy is different. And um, there's not many teams with this philosophy. I don't know if there's any team with this philosophy, honestly. Uh, but this philosophy is not working. And, you know, kudos to, to uh, Philly. I mean, the game should have been worse. If it wasn't for Jalen, thank, thankfully being Jalen and giving us a couple turnovers, I mean, it came, the game could have been a hell of a lot worse. So, um, you know, it's going it, to be tough. It's going to be tough. I don't know. You know, I don't know if they're going to win another game. I think Cowboys Nation, I think they're kind of, you know, resigned to the fact that this is what it's going to be. Uh, I'll be curious to see how the stands are. I'll be curious to see how the crowd is. I know there was a lot of booing, rightfully so. And it, that that's going to affect Jerry. I mean, Jerry, he's he worries about his image. That image is the most important thing to him over winning and anything else. And he's going to continue to feel the heat. Hopefully that means he's going to do something that he normally wouldn't do. And that's go out, get a coach, give him full control over his staff, give him control over some of the players. Not necessarily, you don't have to give him full control. You always want to have a GM in there. You got to have a buffer in there. But let him have influence on bringing his guys in, his style of guy in, running his plays, running his defense, doing what he wants to do, not hiring the coach for him, not telling him, hey, this is going to be your offensive coordinator. We're retaining this guy. If he wants to retain we all love Al Harris, but if a new coach comes in and says, no, I want Al Harris gone, that he got to go. I mean, you know, same thing with the position coaches, same thing with, you know, Schottenheimer. Any of those guys that are there, you got to just clean house of everything if that's what the coach wants. Now, if the coach says, hey, I love Al Harris. I think he, he does a lot of great things. He's got a future. We want him with the Cowboys. Then that's fine. But it's got to be a and, – and it's the same thing with players. I mean, if there's players on this roster that the coach says, hey, we need to – you know, we need to make some changes and go without, then that's what they got to do. I mean, that's the only way you've got to clean out and rebuild the culture of this team because it is broken. And I don't, you know, I've been a fan a long time. I've been a fan a long time. And I'm trying to think back to a bad a season, um, not necessarily from a play standpoint or just overall, just from the off season to the beginning of the season to the injuries, to the lack of, you know, lack of play and, and, and on offense and defense and inconsistencies and then what you see here. I mean, 
you go back to that that one in fifteen season. You knew what you were getting. I mean, they were a young team. You didn't really have a whole lot. I mean, you you ex- you had some expectations that they're not going to be that good of a football team. I look back to those five and eleven teams. I accepted that because we didn't have a quarterback. You know, and I, hey, I wanted to win, but you know, I wanted to see them win. But when you 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 you're rolling out. You know, Hutchinson and Ryan Leaf and you're rolling out, you know, Stoner and you're rolling out, you know, uh, I remember Tony Banks in there and I, you're, you're just rolling out all these different quarterbacks. You kind of say, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, <laughs> we're, we're, you know we're, we're in for a rough year. But, you know, the Cowboys, you know, had the talent. They, had, they still have the talent. Obviously, some got hurt. They never replaced the role players that they had. And they never addressed the running back situation or the weaknesses on the defense and defensive tackle. And there were plenty of defensive tackles out there. So, you know, not beating a dead horse, but we all kind of saw the the writing on the wall that, hey, we're in trouble unless some things really go right. Unless some of these guys play out of their mind, there's not much room for error this season. And unfortunately, there's been a lot of error. There's been a lot of error, and it's just uh, it's just going to get worse. So... Just wanted to, uh, I thought I'd cheer you guys up, but I don't know if I cheered you up or brought you down. Probably brought you down, but all I got to say is, you know, there'll be better days. You know, these types of seasons happen, but sometimes it could be a blessing in disguise. You know, the team was rolling 12 and 5, 12 and 5, 12 and 5, and I think they were comfortable being that. And not, nothing wrong with it, but you got to continue that hunger. And I think this is a slap. To, to a lot of their egos, um, embarrassing. I mean, if you're a player who gives a shit, this has got to be the most embarrassing season. I don't know if there's time for laughing and having a good time uh, through this season. So, And I think it's an opportunity for Jerry to hit rock bottom and for this organization to hit rock bottom and then hopefully come out better. The beauty is there's a lot of core talent on this team, a lot of core young talent on this team. You can flip the script in a year very quickly with some strategic free agent moves, strategic draft picks. You can get right back where you're at. So, you know, it's not the, it, it's not like they're going to be in purgatory forever, but this is something they're going to have to get over. We'll be live tonight. We'll be talking all NFL. We will talk some Cowboys, but we'll talk about the NFL college football. You got Jimmy D and I will be live. Uncle Cheech will be coming in. We got to see how he does. I think he had a pretty big weekend. So if you guys bet with Uncle Cheech, then you probably don't care about the Cowboys losing because you made a lot of money. So we'll have some fun. And then, of course, we got our Kelly will be in uh, on Wednesday. Him and I will be back on Wednesday. You know, I don't know how we talk about the Cowboys. Cowboys and Texans. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to that game. But I'm honestly looking forward to that Tyson Jake Paul fight. I've been a Tyson fan my whole life. I can't wait to see Iron Mike, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know he's old, but as a kid watching him, getting the opportunity to see it live, it'll be a lot of fun. And then I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to push through, push through to Monday. McCain's don't play Saturday, so not going to be able to get that bad taste out of our mouth from what happened in Georgia Tech. But Canes control their destiny, and that's that's what happens sometimes, man. They get you get knocked down can be a benefit. I think that loss for the Miami Hurricanes is going to be a blessing in disguise for them if they use it right. Get refocused, take care of your business. In the last two games, you got the ACC championship right at your fingertips. You're going to play either SMU or Clemson, depending on how the schedule rolls out for either one. You go out, handle your business, go in there, win the ACC. You're right in the play. You're right exactly where you were going to be before the loss. Yeah, but your mindset's going to be a lot tougher. So that's what I mean, man. It's all about mental toughness. And these guys, you know, especially the Cowboys, it, it, we need a little bit of that throughout the culture of this organization, throughout the culture of this team. But, you know, throw Trey Lance in there. I know he got a shot at the end. I don't care. I'd just rather see something that maybe he has a highlight every now and then to get me a little bit excited. But if you're going to roll out the quarterback, you got to roll him out. He's got to throw the ball more than three yards. Um Otherwise, get rid of them and go find another one and just move on, man. So I appreciate it, Cowboys Nation. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like. Appreciate everything. We'll get through this, man. It's going to be tough. We're going to get through it. we got a whole eight weeks. Then we got the playoffs that we're probably not going to be in. we got the Super Bowl. It's going to be another year. we got to hear all the, you know, all the noise. And you know what? Bring the noise because it's well-deserved. I mean, the more noise they bring, the haters and everyone to the Cowboys – 
the more it's going to help the Cowboys in the long run because Jerry is going to hear it. He's going to feel it. He's going to have to do something about it. Like I said, these, these, these billionaires, their ego is the most important thing, and he is getting shredded and shredded through national media, through local media, through the fans. It will make an impact. I promise you that. Go look back in the history books with him. It does. So will it deliver a championship? I don't know, but I think it will definitely change the way the structure is with this organization. I appreciate it. You guys take care. Hope to see you tonight. See you.